All right, good, e good evening, everyone. My name is John Ladati. I'm uh, sitting in for our chairperson, David Tully, tonight. And uh, this is a special meeting called uh, tonight. Um, we're going to start with the minutes from the last meeting. As everyone reviewed the May 8th, 2019 meeting minutes. I move they be accepted. Second. 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 Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Aye. Me. <laughs> <laughs> what did that mean? I, mean? I wasn't at the meeting. Okay, you're you're abstaining. Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah. All right. All right, so the next uh, item number two on the agenda is a public hearing. And I'll read the notice of the public hearing into the record. I'll read it slowly for our recording secretary. Uh, there will be a public hearing conducted by the Ramby Inland Wetlands and Water Courses Commission on May 29th, 2019 at 7 p.m. in the Granby Town Hall meeting room, 15 North Granby Road, to hear the following item. Application for remediation and restoration of affected regulated areas and for proposed activities for the property located at 235 North Granby Road and 172 Day Street. At the hearing, interested persons may appear and written communications will be received. Copies of the proposals are on file in the Office of the Community Development Director and Town Clerk, Granby Town Hall. The properties can be viewed on the Granby website under Community De Development Documents and Links. So this uh, notice was published in the Hartford Current Connecticut Section Zone 5 <clears throat> on, I believe, Friday, May 17, 2019. Again. It was published on Friday, May 24th, 2019. So this is a public hearing, and there seem to be some members of the public here. Um, we've been dealing with this application for some period of time now, so I think it may be helpful if uh, our uh, wetlands enforcement official gives a little background, and then the way I like to do it at a wetlands hearing is we'll hear from the applicant or his representative, then I'll ask for members of the public to come up. I'll start with the people who are in favor of the permanent application, and then we'll hear from people who are opposed or just want to be heard on the subject. But everyone who wants to speak, everyone who has uh, the, an interest in speaking will be given the opportunity, but we would just ask you to step up to that podium over there, speak loudly and clearly, and before you begin speaking, state your full name and address of, so that we know who you are and the record reflects that. Okay, so Kay, if you would just give some background on the application and then we'll start. No problem, thank you. Um, so just to go back, this is the property located at 235 North Granby Road and 172 Day Street, um, owned by Mr. T.J. Witte, and he's here today um, and can answer additional questions after I give a brief overview of where we've been and where we're going. Um, a notice of violation was issued on January 3rd and uh, went over what we observed for um, violations on the property and what the remedi remediation actions were and what the timeline for those remedi remediation actions were. And then we received a, another letter that went to the file on January 8th. Um, this came from Mr. George Logan, uh, Mr. Witte's um, consultant who stated that he had been retained to assist him with the compliance on this property. And then on May 1st, 2019, we received another letter from um, Mr. Logan from Rima Ecological, kind of going over what the mitigation plans were for the property. Uh, there was a figure attached to that and um, at that time, at our last meeting, we had asked for additional information. Um, <clears throat> so I guess to back up in terms of what's been completed out in the property, uh, there was a access road, a wood chip driveway that was installed across the wetland area to get to the rear portion of the property. And um, a pond was created in that rear portion of the property with a culvert that was installed to um, you know, hold back and maintain the pond. And uh, there's also some shrub clearing and some land clearing in the upland review area. So um, 
As part of the proposal, what we understand so far is that these wetland impact areas will be mitigated for, the road will be removed. Um, we're still not sure whether or not uh, Mr. Woody would like to include a different roadway location to include as part of the permit application that he has in front of the board right now. Um, the pond, the culvert would be removed and the pond would be reshaped so that it was more of a natural banks on the side slopes. Uh, any type of fill, meaning sediment that had washed off from this work area into the wetland would be removed by hand. Um, that was something that was discussed at our last meeting. And we also need to find out a little bit more about how the property is going to be utilized in the upland review area. Um, so if you're looking at the house that's on North Granby Road, behind that house there's a barn, and then behind the barn there was a field area which has now been disturbed um, up to the edge of the wetland. So we need to know how that area is going to be handled for the long term. Um, so those were things that were requested. And then uh, there was a list that was that I had given at the last meeting of things that I thought were still necessary to be presented. Um, I emailed that um, per the request of Mr. Logan last night, I think at uh, 8 o'clock at night, maybe 9 even. I wanted to make sure um, he had gotten it. And I was hoping that we would have a report for today that addressed the remainder of these items. Um, <clears throat> So what these items are, I'll just go through them real quick. Uh, the front area disturbance, so the area along 235 North Granby Road, um, how will that be stabilized? And I'd like to also know from the applicant tonight um, why there was more earthwork done out front since that meeting. Um, I'm not sure what the intention was, and I'm sure they can expand upon that. But driving by, I've seen that. Um, there's a little additional soil moved up front there. Uh, there's a tree fort in the back that was part of what was um, completed in the upland review area. We're looking to know whether that's going to stay or go and, and have this all be in writing so that it's clear for the applicant and for the commission to follow for remediation activities. Um, final plans for use within the upland review area, as I mentioned, uh, what's going to happen with the trailers that are in the back, equipment storage, wood processing, what area would be left undisturbed, like a maintained field, or what area would be used for any other kind of operations and have that shown on a plan. How many cubic feet of fill was um, installed in the wetland? Um, a table of the impact areas, or at least a clear presentation of the impact areas. Um, that includes the upland review area, which extends 200 feet from a water course and 100 feet from the wetland boundary. Um, also should be mentioned that the wetland boundary was delineated um, as part of this work. It's already been completed, and it's a pretty clear-cut boundary out there. I went out and took a look, um, and it pretty much is at the toe of the slope. Uh, let's see, uh, plantings. They had uh, in the report from Mr. Logan uh, kind of a loose planting schedule that we determined at the time, and we requ I'm requesting that um, specific plantings be noted, like which different species, and uh, a time frame for these plantings. And that a wetland scientist be on site during the culvert removal and any other work that's directly within the wetland area. Uh, the fee calculation needs to be completed. A portion of the fee has been submitted, but because the areas have not been fully calculated, we need the remainder of the fee. Uh, schedule completed, and um, I think I've already mentioned that. And I think that kind of catches things up, so I don't know, TJ, if uh, you want to add to where things stand now in terms of uh, those requested materials and when you think they may be submitted. If you, if you come up to the microphone. Be on TV. <laughs> Sorry, I was working. <laughs> um, my name is TJ Whitty. I live at 235 North Road. Um, so, the tree fort was one of the topics, and uh, Bill came out and looked at it, and he said that it was not out of violation of anything. So I don't, I'm not sure what you want to address um, with that. Is um, that something you'd like to keep? Is that what you're saying? It doesn't regard. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, um, we'd like to keep it, probably, huh? But um, I, yeah, I don't see why not. Like Bill said, it wasn't out of regulation. So yeah, I'm going to keep that. Um, 
and I spoke with George today, and we're, we're uh, he has the whole back delineated or whatever, so we're, we're fixing the pond area. We're gonna pull the, all the wood chips out, fix that. Um, the campers have, are leaving, one has already left. All the wood's moving towards the front of the house. Um, and then pretty much behind the barn that you're talking about, I'd, I'd like to make it all grass. I mean, that's, that's my plan. That's where I was going with it until we stopped. Um, same with the front of the house. The front of the house is all gonna be grass. I mean, there's a, a old shed that was there when I bought the house that's right on the road. I'd like to take that down and, and I mean, and, and make it all nice. That's, that's my plan, so. Um, what else? So, um, so I, I, you know, you're you're getting to where we're looking to have this put down in, in writing by either you or your consultant. Yeah, so George said he was gonna hopefully have it done in the next few days. It's, you know, I thought it was gonna be done for this meeting. So, um, yeah. and it's not. Um, so, for all the things that you're saying, the most important thing I think for the commission is to have it in writing, so okay. that there's no question, and you remember what we talked about, and we remember what we talked about, and we know exactly what's right. happening. I'm, what happened in the front of the house recently? That I tried hired? to make it so I have guys coming to look at the house, so I just tried to fit, flatten it so it wasn't. Um, I mean, that's well over 100 feet away from what we talked about. So in the front area there, you have um, the brook that runs right in the corner. And I'm well over 100 feet away from the brook. 200 feet from the edge of the brook is the upland review area. Okay. I mean, I have um, silt fence all through that whole brook. So, I mean, nothing can get into it. Yeah, I think the problem is when you're doing anything in the upland review, you have to have have a permit to do that unless our enforcement officer says you don't you know it's not a significant activity and part of the problem tj is when george was here last time george logan was here last time we had asked him to produce a lot of documents in sort in, in support of the application including a map and we don't have any of that so we set this hearing specifically so we'd have that be able to review it the public would be able to review it the hope actually was that we would have it in advance of the hearing so the public could view it i understand that yeah so um, what's the what's what's the plan with george logan I, I don't know i had problems with him last week i spoke with kate i was like should i hire someone else should i go what do i need to do to fix this uh and she just said we'll just push through with george because at this point hiring somebody else would take too long so i mean I hired the guy to, I thought he was helping me do this, and now I'm kind of look look like I'm not completing what you guys are asking when I'm, I'm doing the best I can. So, I mean, I don't know, he said he'd have it in the next few days, and hopefully he can. I understand it was supposed to be here tonight, and that's not helping us, so. Yeah, and I think you need to understand the way it works. Once we open this public hearing, we're under timelines to uh, consider well, the public's going to speak then we're under timelines to make a decision and if we don't have a completed application or the uh, sufficient time to review it you're going to end up with a denial because the application has to be complete including payment of the of the fees <clears throat> that's not the most important part of it but that's that's part of completing the application and you know, this commission, I'll speak personally, and I've appeared in commissions all over the state of Connecticut, appeared before them. This commission, I think, is extraordinarily patient and tries to work with the citizens in Granby. So rather than issuing an enforcement order, which is what the commission could do through its enforcement officer, we've basically worked with you and with George Logan on an application. So. What we indicated to Mr. Logan, I don't know if he expressed this to you, but I'll just state it so it's clear. <clears throat> if if the if this permit application is not a the only the next step we have is an enforcement order with all of the enforcement uh, powers that the commission has by statute. And that's not a place we want to go, but I think you know at this point it could end up there unless this is dealt with immediately. Okay. Good night. I'm doing the best I can. I mean, I, I want to make it right. I mean, that's 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 my plan. I, I want to make it right, I'm, and I'm doing the best I can. I mean, I bought my house two years ago, and I've been doing nothing but cleaning the place up almost every day. I'm out working at my house, cleaning it up. 
cleaning it up and doing the best I can. And okay, I know. Jesus. Sorry. And, and now we ran into this. I'll take the blame for this one. Probably spoke too hard. For it. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> he wants what he wants. We can hear you. You can keep He going. wants what he wants. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I don't know, you know, unfortunately, with George, I, it, it, I don't know where to go from here. I mean, I, I understand you guys are getting frustrated, and I'm very frustrated as well. And I'd like to fix the situation so I can get back to going and, and trying to make my house nice and plant some grass and, and make it a nice home to come home to instead of, you know, the dump that it is that it has been, and it, it's just getting better every day. And now I'm at a standstill because I'm waiting for all this stuff before I can keep going forward. Commission have any questions? Mr. Woody, before I open it up to the public. What are the time issues here? What are we talking about from the day, I, since I wasn't at the last meeting, from the date of the public hearing? Uh, 65. 35 days 30, and 30, extension 35. up to 65. But I mean, that's up to your discretion on the extension and the reason. So I think just to be very clear, the reason why, and my understanding is that the commission had this special meeting is that grass grows well in the spring and not in the summer. And you have mm -hmm. a large amount of area open. And they were really looking to get things um, worked out so that you could move forward. And, um, you know, I think there's a part of this that you could be very cap capable of addressing. Um, you know, what you want to do with certain things, where you want to put certain things. Um, so you may be able to take this through the next step um, if for some reason George is not coming back to work on the project. Um, but it, you know, it's not something you do every day. And, you know, I... I mean, it looks like you go ahead, it's going to got to happen real fast, so I want to get it done and, and just do it. So, so the but hope we, would be right, but we can't go ahead until we have the documents. I understand, and I'm doing the best that I can. Like I said, if I have to hire someone else and waste more money doing that, that's what I have to do. I mean, I, I'm in a in a tight spot here that I'm trying to do the best I can. You know, I'm with the money that I do have, so. I must say to the commission, I definitely feel that there's been plenty of communication with TJ. The lack of communication um, has been from the professional consultant. So, you know, and it's something where we're super close to, you know, finality on what's being presented. There's just some details that need to be worked out. And it would be a shame to have to shift consultants at this point, at least to get you through the permit process. Um, because it doesn't take that much more work. So I'm not really sure why it's been lagging so much, especially when it was committed that this material would be here for this meeting. So um, you, know, you definitely can look for another consultant to help you through the process. But um, you know, if George really does not have the time and you would need to do that, or you need to try to take it on on your own, and I think it would require a lot of time on my part to help you understand what you're doing. Yeah. It's not something you do, which is understandable. So um, I think the goal is to want you to move forward as fast as possible as well. But we want to know that you know that we know what everybody's doing. So when you're moving forward, it's in the forward direction. I mean, just looking at where we left off with George, we, we don't have a map. I mean, I know the wetlands are delineated. But the commission, I thought we were going to have a map that shows it. Yeah. I thought he was going to sketch it out on a map, though, because that was a little difficult to follow. But clearly, he was supposed to come back with a tree plan and, and firm up what we were doing with the slopes around the pond that was created. There were all these other issues about alternative access. We don't have any of that in front of us. No, we were supposed to have it before the meeting. We were supposed to have it. There's going to be no alternative access. It's just I want it corrected and fixed. I, that's it. There will be no other alt in any time in the future. I don't have the money to go forward with doing something like that. So at this point in time, it's just I want to fix it and make it right. So that would that would have been part of the application. 
that there will be no other access mm -hmm. across that way. Correct. I thought that he wrote that in his, um, that we were removing it, and that was that. I thought he wrote that in his. Um, yeah, I can double check that. I know that the question was, did you want to add it for the fact that you do have five years, especially if you have a tree store in the back? <laughs> If, if you wanted to add it, now would be the time to yeah. do it. That's, I think, why. It's I think important. it's getting too complicated at this point. Yeah. So I'm just looking at our calendar for June, because we're meeting on June 12th. I mean, that's in two weeks. So that means we need something. In a week. In a, yeah, within a week. I mean, because. On that Wednesday, I should be sending out a draft approval letter or for something for you guys to consider with conditions. And I need to have all the data and all the information presented in writing so that, you know, when, when we're going out to take a look at what you're doing out there for inspections, we're going to go, oh, yeah, right here, you, this is what was, what's going to happen here. And then in the, in the letter, it says, oh, you're going to plant, you know, six of these, ten of those, and four of these. And, you know, that way there's no question. You can just refer to this. I can refer to this. The commission can refer to this. So that's the goal for the next meeting is something that's very tight that explains exactly what you need to do where you hopefully won't need to have a lot of communication with your consultant to get the work done because it's already laid out for you. Um, so really by and next week is very tight for me because I'm not around. So. Um, Really, by Monday, George needs to have something in. Otherwise, maybe we should talk again and regroup. So, in other words, keep the public hearing open until June twelfth, and have all this in, on the before the twelfth, a week before the twelfth. I think it's very easy to address all these things. I don't think they're very extensive. I didn't think they were either, and that's no. why I was. I felt like what he did in the back, the delineation of the back, was the most difficult thing. And then now you're just looking for stuff to be written up. That's why when I spoke to you, I was like, "Is there anything I can do? Can I write this up? Is there something I can do?" But he said that George needed to do it, I guess. And well, I gave the list. So I cc'd you um, on the email I sent to George last night that had a list of everything that we had discussed and um, we should just double check with the commission if there's anything else that needs to be added before the, and also from any kind of public comment. And you know, you, you're more than welcome to take a stab at it. Well, I paid someone to it, so it would be a little easier for me. You're stuck at a tough spot right now. So maybe we can go through that list after we get public comment? Or do you want to do it? I did, I actually did it originally that that's the list you're talking yeah. about mm -hmm. okay <coughs> well, I should read this uh, that, that came from Georgia because it did, did discuss the commission in there um, it says Kate unfortunately I have not had the time to provide the additional information let me know what the commission wants to do going forward I could get the information together in the next week or so <coughs> That makes me very concerned. Uh, again, I apologize to you and the commission for this delay. That's George Logan. What is your problem? So that was the last correspondence. That was the last one. Yeah. Huh. So while, while you're up here, I get think the only thing be important to convey is Anywhere on the property. At this point, you're at, you have a cease and desist. You're not supposed to be doing any addition. I thought that was just for within 100 feet of wetlands. So that brook in the front, that's a wetland. Right, and that was over 100 feet, and that's why you're saying 200 feet, so. So just call first. Any disturbance on anywhere on your property, just to make sure. Okay. It, it depends on whether it's a wetland or whether it's a water course. Yeah. If it's a water course, it's 200 feet. If it's a wetland, it's 100 feet. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, we'll open it up to the public now. 
Anyone here want to speak in favor of the application? Which we don't have. All right. Anyone want to? Uh, anyone who want to talk about the application? Come on up. I mean, you'll have another opportunity if we leave the public hearing open uh, on June 12th. But if you're here and you want to be heard tonight, we're happy to listen. Do I Okay, my name is Lisa Anderson. I'm at 19 Kearns Drive and a budding property owner. Uh, Gordon, my husband, is here too. Uh, just reading your notice, I thank you for noticing me, for first thing. And it said that we could submit written comments. I don't really, I just, I have a letter here, and the letter pretty much, you want me to read it? Or, thank you. Okay, I don't need to read it, but the gist of it is that um, we've, um, been involved in this property before from a long time ago, so I attached two letters that are, uh, were uh, submitted to the commission on that property when there was an application for a former, a former project there. So they're here for your edification and also um, just, just hoping that the application that's submitted ultimately is complete and that you will be able to inspect, approve the application and, and, and inspect it so that the remediation is sufficient to, uh, you know, remediate. So that's our interest. Thank and you. also, thank you very much for all the work you've done on this project. Thanks. You're welcome. So we'll make that part of the record of the public hearing. Anyone else? <clears throat> Hi, my name is Karen Ansaldi. I'm 25 Kearns Drive. Also abutting the property up towards the Day Street area. I just want to thank you again for notifying us of all of this. Um, I read through the file that was uh, in the office and looked through all the minutes of the previous meetings and uh, came here today very surprised to hear that all the information is still not in. It looked like this has been going on repeatedly with them not having information when it's needed. So I just would urge you not to make an approval at this time because we don't yet really have all the information and I don't think that any action should be taken without the full information. Um, I think it's very important that the water course especially and you know surrounding wetlands do not get uh, too disturbed. There's a lot of snowball effect really as the water course goes from you know much higher up and it goes down and there's crisscrossing and everything i know i've got part of that water course going through my yard so um you know i think it's in everybody's interest that it keep flowing and keep uh, draining the way it's meant to be thank you thanks thank you anyone else June McDermott, Seven Kearns Drive, and um, I am actually, once we get all the information, I am in favor of the remediation that TJ is planning. Um, I'm just <clears throat> a little disappointed that all this occurred, you know, before he got approval, because as far as I understood, he had checked uh, the planning and zoning and he knew that there was there were permits that were required and um, the work was done in spite of that without a permit uh, and I don't know if you were aware when you were inspecting the property but at the end of that road it appeared to me that the trailer that was there that people were living there and also commuting which I'm not sure if it was legal or not, but I just wanted to let you know. Thank you. Thank you. Pardon me? Yeah. Anyone else? <clears throat> okay. Well, thank you all for coming. I think um, we probably, do we need a motion to continue? The, yeah, we do. So I'd entertain a motion that we continue to leave the public hearing open until the next meeting on June 12th, the next regular meeting on June 12th. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Great. Okay, so we'll do that. Everyone, TJ has his marching orders, so.
hopefully we'll get all this stuff and anyone who wants to come back on June 12th and be heard, hopefully we'll have a fuller application for everyone to review. Okay, thanks. We'll move on to the next agenda item. Thank you. Pardon me. I think time is an issue here, but I think we should have the right to kind of see what's going on before and then evaluate it. Rich, you have to identify yourself on the record. Uh, Rich McDermott, Seven Kearns of okay. Kai. And if you wouldn't mind just repeating that so we're sure that it's recorded. Yeah, I was just concerned about uh, having the information available to the public so that we can see it with enough time to evaluate it prior to coming to the next public hearing so we can, you know, speak to what's being done. Yeah, I think uh, Kate was pretty clear. She's going to need that within a week. I, I or, honestly or agree soon, with Monday. By Monday. But how, I don't think there's any reason why How is the why public going to know that case. you have it so that we can come down to the town hall? You'd have to inquire, you know, to make sure it's here. You can stop in and look at it, and if it's, yeah. as soon as we get it, it'll be in the record, but you might want to make a phone call to see what's come in. Okay. We'll put it there as soon as we get it. Uh, is there a possibility of extending the time period when the public hearing is going to be so it allows enough time for people to see it? Because based on what I've heard, it doesn't seem like there's enough time to do whole, much within the window we're talking about. And this is, uh, you know, a pretty sensitive area that you know we're dealing with back there. Sure. And um, the other thing while I'm up here, I guess, is that I, don't, I haven't heard anything about the issues of flood control or what's you know, the result of uh, downstream flooding from the creation of the pond. Um, you know, we live at a point where the stream runs through and around our property, and I know that the town has had a problem with flooding over the street uh, in that section, and uh, and I don't know if what's being done on this property or the remediation is going to address that. I mean, they excavated a pretty good amount of, uh, you know, uh, uh, earth and created that pond. I'm not sure what effect that's had. But uh, I know that it's gotten worse since I've lived there in terms of flooding coming down that way and across the road and onto our property. So that's another issue that if it's going to be addressed. Uh, if they're going to address some kind of remediation, they should also evaluate the impact of what was done on the flooding that has been occurring downstream. And I haven't heard anything that kind of points that or addresses that. So that's, that's it. I'll save, I'll save my comments for the next one. Thank you. Anyone else before we move on to the next agenda? Okay. So I have one thing. Yeah, of course. So, if, I mean, it does Monday sound like a reasonable deadline? Because that gives me two days to put together, to review it, to do correspondence back and forth, and to put together a draft approval letter to go into the packet with these materials and any other comments as well. And doing all this, I will actually be on vacation trying to do all this. So I'd like a little lead time if possible. Um, does that sound amenable to the commission, considering the fact that the consultant said that they would have it for two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah okay. I, think, I think Monday's a good deadline. Yeah. yeah. Is it enough George, time for you? Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> George said in that email that he wanted to know what we needed. We told him what we needed last uh, meeting. So he knows, he's known for two weeks. So I think Monday's a fair deadline. So if you don't get it, what's our next step then? I don't think it's fair to, but we'll have a public hearing right now and not have the information and then have it a meeting in two weeks and still not have it and have people come to that. So is there any way we do another special meeting that we, you know, so they can actually look at the material? I think, you know, at that point, it could be considered, the commission could consider whether or not they would want to deny the project because you would have a 35 days from the time that it was opened. Right. And our next regular meeting would be 35 days. I think people need to double check that. Um, so that would be one option. Um, and you could just deny without prejudice and they'd have to resubmit and then that kind of process again. Um, or you can make a vote to extend the um, public hearing for a period of time up to 65 days to allow for them to address the remainder of the information that's needed. 
it just it's just kind of killing me because it's not that much that we need mm. and it's just just to get it done and get everybody moving i really it's, it's kind of a tough spot to be in um i think some of these things you know are beyond tj's wheelhouse in terms of trying to address them and, and understand what he's addressing um he could definitely try his best or maybe he has um you know lifelines and his friends crowd that you know can help him with some of these things and help him put this together the things that he doesn't know um but i definitely recommend a clear conversation with your expectations um for having the material submitted by monday and if that's not the case then we'll need to is there anything we can do enforcement order to uh require george to you know, we can issue it if we don't have it by Monday. We could issue an enforcement order, and then you have to have a meeting within seven days. So, you know, but the the thing is, then you have two modes of. I have to check on this because when you have two modes of um, two vehicles of permitting, one would be the enforcement order, one would be the permit. Um, you know, could we? Do you need them both at that time? And should you have them both? There should be just one, really. Right. And we've already started the permit application process, so that really should be the most. It's it's really not the most complicated thing. Mm -hmm. It just needs to get done. Mm -hmm. and it's not that I don't think that too. You need a list of what needs to get done to be checked off because we're talking about stuff. But we don't have anything in writing. Correct. So I, I guess what I'm saying, get done, is 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 have everything in writing, have a clear plan of writing that everybody agrees upon. Just get that done, and then then you can go out and do the work so um okay i mean in terms of i'd say let's see what happens by monday will you be um emailing george i Logan, with that deadline yes yes and it would make sense you know I, i'd like to actually speak with him directly just to understand <coughs> what the limitations are so that you know my goal is always try to work with everybody and right now, I, I feel like we're going, we're bending over backwards, and we're not getting worked with. And um, I'd like to understand why. Maybe there's a good reasoning for it. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Anybody? No. All right. Any? We'll go to other business. Any agent updates we need to hear about? Is it up our camps tomorrow? Oh, Park Hampstead Road. That, seemed, was, that was all set by the time we did a drive yeah. by. It seemed like the following day, actually, oh. I went by there and they were cleaning it up. Oh. So, but I did see, I don't know the number, if you go by the Public Works Department down at the bottom of the hill, I don't know what that is. If you look right down the left hand side, somebody's doing a substantial amount of work behind the house there and um, they've been pushing a lot of material into the wetland area there. So I think that we should have someone take a look at that. I don't know what the address is. I can get an answer for you on that one by the next meeting. Any, any other agent updates? Any other business before the commission? No. No. All right, then uh, how about a motion to adjourn? Excuse me. Uh, other business, uh, the minutes from the April meeting were <clears throat> never, never approved. Yeah, we did that in the last. Yeah, we did that. You no, know, there was at the last meeting. So, no, I, I wasn't at the last meeting, but I yeah, watched the video. There's no action. Oh. There's no, no action. Yeah, there's no action taken. I really should approve the minutes from the April. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see that one. Is it even in the right. meeting? It's in the it's in minutes. minutes. Yeah, it says it No action was taken on there. Okay. Yeah, the, the minutes reflected. No action was taken. So, yeah. uh, Fred, do you want to make a motion? Yeah, I move to approve the minutes from the meeting of, I don't know what the date was. April 10th. 2019. 2019. <laughs> Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention? I wasn't here. Okay. okay. One abstention. Okay. Did we take a vote on the motion to adjourn? 
No, no, no. 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 Is a motion to reject? Oh, that's where we have to interrupt. Okay. Who's second? Who wants a second that motion? Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention. Still haven't heard of opposition to that motion. <laughs>